Welcome back YouTube, it is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics and today we are doing part 2 of how to draw characters in Adobe Illustrator and in this video it's going to be mainly focused on the clothing and how to decide what type of clothing you want your character to wear and so it's going to be a very quick, fast and simple video but let's jump right into it. So in this video, I sped it up to four times as I head to you guys, but let's jump into it. Usually when making clothing for your character, you always want to have a plan, depending if you want to make someone who's like medieval with armor and stuff, or someone who's basic. For example, this character I'm making is going to be wearing a basic t-shirt with basic leggings and a pair of boots, and she's going to have a weird looking weapon on her right hand. And so it's not too overly complicated, but it can depending on how complicated you want the clothing to be. So I'm going to start off with her t-shirt, as you see here, just a quick simple line. I'm going to add a couple little creases to her legs just to show that her leggings or pants actually has movement in them. And so you can see the little crease marks right there shown. And I'm going to draw the pants lines and then I'm going to start drawing the boots. And as you see here, it just comes together very easily based off of the original skeleton. And pretty much next what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some more creases to her shirt to show where the bends are happening at. And so do not be afraid to add creases, but don't add too many creases. And I'm going to leave her shirt like just like a regular t-shirt style, you know, with regular arms cut off at the right points you see here. Uh, make it be like a v-neck type of thing and she's going to have an undershirt underneath of it just to show a little bit of design to it instead of it being like a basic white t-shirt then she'll look like Fidel from Dragon Ball Z and we ain't looking for that. And uh, just add some extra little details here and there. If your character looks too plain, do not be afraid to add a little bit extra pizzazz. For example, I'm going to put her little v-neck style shirt right here just to show that her shirt is different than just a basic white tee. And then for her right hand, I'm going to give her, at first I was thinking of a shield, but then I turned it into like a blade at the end and I liked it a lot more than the shield. And so it came out really cool. But as you see here, I'm just uh, fine-tuning the character, uh, her wrists, I put bracelets on her wrists, I uh, kept her fingers kind of jagged, kind of pointy. Her right hand is still very blocky versus her left hand, so there's a, a huge difference in hands right there. And uh, make sure you just uh, plan ahead for your character, because you can make your character super over convoluting with whatever you decide to add to your character. You can do so much. You can make your character like a uh, mech style character wearing armor that's futuristic or old school or something on the terms where it's kind of just very basic and not too over the top and with this character it was very basic gave her a very simple hair do pretty much just made her hair very circular with a few lower end spikes short hair and uh just had fun with this image and that's pretty much it for this picture um it came out very well and this is the base um sketch of after the clothing is on and then what i do after this is i pick a different color brush and i make the brush smaller than the blue brush just so i can be able to fine tune it and stuff so the blue brush is usually set to one or two very thick brush and then i go and change it to red and i change it to like 0.5 or whatever that's lower and i test it out to see how well it feels and pretty much i redo over it again getting rid of all of the mess and clutter on a new layer and I pretty much just straighten things out make things look smooth before I start finalizing it with the line art phase. But that is pretty much it when it comes to your character. Just adding the detail to it is very simple. Um, like I said earlier, it can get crazy over the top end. Some people might not like that. They might want to just hurry up and whiz by it. Some people can do that, but not me. I like to take my time with my images and just play with it. Um, it does take some time for me to come up with these images. Uh, so it's always good to practice with the reference uh, makes things easier. There's apps out nowadays that can help you uh, figure out a body position. There's a like 3D body position randomizer and you can draw off of that. And uh, there's ways you can figure out how to do things and then you can just figure out the actions you want your character to do. But that is pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for Annie Monday where I put every single video together. This one, the second one, and then the third one's going to be just the speed art of everything put together when I finalize it. But yeah, it's your boy Diamonds here at Comments is Graphics. Rate, comment, subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit the bell icon. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Your boy out.